<laughs> You're looking good. It was cool. <laughs> it was cool. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, when that thing broke ground. Uh, she come off in a hurry, didn't oh, she? Oh, she did. That was something. That Viking engine is a war horse. It didn't take long to jerk it off the ground. Man. I got chills when it come over. You might as well have been doing 700 knots in a jet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. How was it from the inside is what I want to oh, know. It was, it was nice. Pretty wild. <laughs> Pretty wild. That, uh, that first approach, I kind of got confused a little bit with my, with my throttle and I goosed it when I was trying to let off of it and I thought, I better just go around and kind of calm down a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No, it looked totally manageable. It was. It's just real quick compared to what I'm used to. Control. Your landing looked real good. Well, my name's Mason Bullard. I live here in Hamilton, Texas. This is my Zenith CH701. I've just taken my first flight in it about 10 minutes ago, and it was pretty awesome. Pretty excited. Uh, I've got the Viking engine. It worked perfectly. Everything's good about it. Everything seemed to work real good. Uh, I've, I've been on it about four years and two months. I've got about 851 hours total time in construction. And it's been all right by the book. Everything's gone pretty much just just like it's supposed to. Nothing, I've not changed or modified anything. Uh, everything's like it's supposed to be. Pretty happy dude right now. All you Viking people, it, stay with it. It seems to be a real good machine, so. I might add that uh, this, this engine doesn't have any of the updates. I've had it for over a year now. Uh, it's one of the original gold engines, and I it's I, I've not done the only thing I've done is the new uh, the new alternator, the new Viking alternator. Everything else is like it was when it came out. I've not done the pulley upgrade or the the intake, the dip oil dipstick or any of that. I've, I've not done any of that. The only thing I've done is drilled the sight glass on my gearbox so that I can check my check my oil level in my gearbox. I'm at 11 and a half degrees pitch is what I shot for. It's what we was trying to get out of it. And I'm at 5400 RPM wide open. Uh, like that's really all I know at this time. I've not flown it. Like I said, I just took my first flight this morning 
and uh, I'll be doing some more flight testing in the near future, I hope.